The letter. Try not to look down, Daria. <coughs> Lisa, you have to squat before you jump. Uh, uh, I'm okay, really. It's the yacht that's spinning, not me. Dorma, take deep breaths. It makes running easier. Professor, why do we have to take these phys ed classes anyway? Wouldn't it be better to practice our magic? Oh, but girls, you're already doing great with your magic studies. Your fitness levels are what could stand to be improved. Remember how tired you got during our hike through the Laughing Mountains? <laughs> that was no laughing matter. I think we're in great shape, Professor. <gasps> Rest, then do it one more time. <sighs> For the record, I can jump, you know. At least when I turn into a frog. And why run on your own when you can have seven league boots? And balance. As if I really need to know how to walk on a beam. Anyway, getting around on the flying carpet is cooler. If only we didn't have visit. That's a great idea. Let's write to the Magical Council. They set the school program, so they should get rid of a useless class. The professor won't argue with them. Dear Magical Council, we the students Daria, Dorma, and Lisa believe that wizards don't need to run, jump, and walk on balance beams. So we ask you to cancel physical education. It's outdated. <laughs> the Squirrel Express won't be here till next weekend. We should take the letter to the Postal Oak ourselves. Are you sure we're not lost? According to the map, the Postal Oak is just past the Creaky Thicket, which is right there. <laughs> Getting rid of Phys Ed is harder work than doing it. This is a one-time thing. We have Phys Ed all the time. I think we go that way. <gasps> Hear that? Oh, it's so cute! <gasps> Jumping toadstools! They're the oldest kind in the world. I've wanted to study them for so long, but the immortal said I'm not allowed in the toadstool reserve. I see why. I'd study these from afar. How do you think they got out of the reserve? <gasps> the toadstools didn't get out of the reserve. We've wandered into it. And jumping toadstools don't like visitors. They're afraid that they might get stepped on. Well, I don't think we stepped on any, did we? Just be sure not to touch them, or you'll spend all week being really itchy. Itchy? Gross! Stop still! Second to first, reverse! No, you see? Our magic doesn't work where the jumping toadstools live. That's why they're kept here in a special reserve. So what do we do now? Run! <laughs> if only we had seven league boots. Remember what the professor said. Deep breaths. <sighs> There's another door over there. <laughs> Everything's backwards in this meadow. The toadstools go after people. And the path is soft. I wonder why that is. That's not a path. It's a swamp. We can't go this way. Look, there's the postal oak. We can walk across that log, but be very careful. <sighs> the flying carpet would be useful right about now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't get across with all the shaking. Yes, you can. Just don't look down, okay? Just like the professor said. Look at us! It feels like walking on solid ground. You are on solid ground. We did it! The exit's there! Uh, so, at least the toadstools didn't get us. 
I'm not so sure. <gasps> Remember, don't let them touch you. But do as the professor said. Squat before we jump. Before we jump where? Here! <laughs> I've never jumped that high! Even when I was a frog! All thanks to Fizz Ed. <laughs> yes, if it hadn't been for the professor, we'd be quite itchy. You know, my hands actually are itching to change some things in the letter we wrote. I apologize, girls. It was probably me who forgot to lock the door when I was showing Grunewald around. Tell me, if it's not a secret, what was so urgent about your letter? That you couldn't wait for the Squirrel Express to come to the school? It's not a secret, Professor. We remember every word. We ask the Distinguished Council to express our gratitude to our professor, who teaches phys ed and makes us jump and run and walk across balance beams even if we get cranky about it. His advice saved us from the jumping toadstools. <laughs> Thank you for that, girls. It's always lovely to receive praise from your students. Now, don't you forget, our next workout is bright and early tomorrow morning. I can't wait. Hooray! Bring it on. Unpredictable. These carrots are gigantic! 33 times bigger than normal! With carrots like these, we'll definitely win first prize at the Magic Fair. Best farm product of the year! I'm going to pull up the biggest one. Watch this. <gasps> uh -huh. uh hmm, they're so tiny. These wouldn't feed a gnome. They look more like the worst farm product of the year, and there's no prize for that. How did this happen? We did everything the same way as the giant gardeners, and the fair is tomorrow, so we don't have enough time to grow new carrots. Well, first, don't worry. As my dad says, even the sourest berries can make the tastiest jam. But we grow carrots, we don't have berries. No, Dorma, that was just an old saying. It means you can make the best out of a bad situation. Just stay positive. Let's see what's here. We only have a day, so we need something that only takes a day to grow. Bingo! Aria, no! Only the Potney professors can grow unpredictable berries. They're totally unpredictable, and they grow wherever they want. If you don't water them fast enough, they run off. They shovel in the wind and in the sun. But they make berries so delicious that we could easily win the competition with them. As soon as you see it grow, give it all the water you've got. Or it'll run off, and you're never going to be able to catch it. There! Gotcha! Heroic leap out! To the yard! Prepare to water! Huh? How does it do that so quickly? Oh, oh well. We can forget about winning. Not at all. The seedling is just looking for a good spot so it can grow bigger and make tastier berries. Let's put up and look for it. If it takes root near some flowers, the berries will be sweeter. By the river, they'll be juicier. The best location? Nowhere near Baba Yaga. Mm. Pickled tree stumps, stewed nettle salad, the best wooden recipes from my copy of Yucky Muck. With these in hand, I'll be the talk of the fair. Oh, an unpredictable If I can just... <gasps> if Baba Yaga waters it, the unpredictable will stay with her. Hmm? Uh. Well done, <laughs> Helen. Uh. Big whoop. I never wanted it in the first place. Honestly, I'm not much of a gardener. On the mountains of the Kingdom of Seven Peaks, the only thing that grows is moss. But moss is very predictable. Not like this. <gasps> Unpredictable! You're right, Levon. You need to work on your plant knowledge. That's just a strawberry. Aha! You can't escape me now! <laughs> and those are thistles. Well, they put up a brave fight. Shh! There it is. Look! Wait here. I'll show you how a real gardening pro catches in... <gasps> My water! Are you okay? We almost caught it, and then I ruined everything. We'll figure something out. What is there to figure out? The water's all gone. That's all of it. Not quite all of it. A single drop of dew? That's all the moss in Seven Peaks needs to grow. So maybe unpredictable berries are the same. Look at that! It's so much taller than I expected! 
It is. It is. It's taller than the trees. Berry Sprout! Oh, it's over. The sprout is gone for good. <gasps> oh, yay! We'll definitely win first prize with this. Look, it's so hot in the sun that it's losing its leaves. It needs shade. But what can we do? There's not a cloud in the sky. What about fox? Bosco, that's a great idea. Oh, look, it's already growing fruit. <gasps> Grab them! If the berries hit a stone, they'll burst right open! We'll never stop it! I'll try to steer it! The amazing ball act! Watch out for that rock! Look out! Missile! I declare us professors of botany! Shoot! That was the last berry. There goes our chance of winning. And the sun's going down too. It's nearly dark, which means we can't grow anything before tomorrow. Mm. Even the sourest berries can make. I know what to do. We're going to win this competition. Ah, the life of a wizard is as unpredictable as these berries. You never know. Anything could be waiting round the corner. <laughs> but no matter what curveballs life throws your way, there is always a solution or two to be found. You learn to make jam from sour berries or burst berries. <laughs> Pickle tree stumps here, nice and crunchy. Let us sell it for you. Each bite is a joy. Ahem. The jury has decided that the prize for the most delicious farm product will be awarded to the unpredictable <gasps> jam from Wonderland School. It's feather licking good. Mind if I try a little? Hold on! I object to that. You don't appreciate woodland cuisine. It really is delicious, though. Try it. Hmm. Well, then, here, pickle tree stump is my specialty. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Snowland Day. Put that table right here. On second thought, right here. Okay, what's next on our list? In the evening, I'll be teaching everyone how to do a winter dance. Winter dancing. Uh -oh. Flying gifts aren't on my list. My grandma sent it. It's a whatever gift. A whatever gift? Oh, I've read about those. A whatever gift grants whatever wish the person who opens it has. Wow, you could wish for anything you want. <gasps> Like the most beautiful dress ever! No, five of the most beautiful dresses! I want a straight A pen, the kind that does all of your homework for you. An invisibility blanket that no one can wake me up too early. I've always wanted ice slippers. Or a magical shawl. One that stretches as long as I want and can cover all my friends. Done dreaming? Then it's back to work. Magical gingerbread. This is a special recipe from my home kingdom. They're rice stars filled with soft caramel. Mr. Immortal, sir, do you have any of those flying cards left? I'd like to invite all our friends to celebrate the holiday. Of course. Here. The recipient of these cards will be instantly transported to where they were invited. And the cards can fly wherever you wish. <gasps> Quickly, grab it! Mr. Immortal, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> I don't get what's going on. Why are they having a picnic in the middle of winter when it's so cold out? <laughs> I wonder what Helen is going to choose when she opens up her whatever gift. A whatever gift? Who would give one of those to a child? They'll use it for something silly. I must save it. And use it for something sensible. Oh! Fly east, fly west, and invite all our guests, as quick as can be, to the holiday tree. A flock of cards pass across the cold winter skies. Happy Snowland Day. <laughs> now you're in good hands. <laughs> Bye. 
Oh, oh, yoga. Hey, stop. Give back the whatever gift. I won't give you any gift. Especially not this whatever gift. What's a holiday without a chase? Ah. Ooh, to the right. Oh, I mean to the left. Huh? <gasps> ah. uh, uh, did you get it? Not yet. Try again. <laughs> Flying caramel. She stole the gift and ate all of our treats, too. I know. Doria, can you send that flock of cards to Baba Yaga? Sure. <gasps> Go away. I don't want to come to your party. <laughs> Lovely decorations. The party looks great. Where are the children? The guests are late, too. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure the guests will arrive soon, and that the hey, kids are simply... we're back! There they are. We chased Baba Yaga, and the flying carpet froze. And we were like, whoosh! It was so cool! We had to walk back. But look! We saved your whatever gift. Now you can get your slippers. The most important thing is you're safe. I can open my gifts after the guests arrive. The guests? The guests aren't coming. We used the cards to get Baba Yaga. We tried to get back in time to send out new ones, but we didn't make it. Then nobody else is coming? <gasps> Mr. Immortal, can the whatever gift really grant whatever wish you have? Yes, it can. Whatever you wish for. <laughs> then I know what to wish for. Is it the shawl? No, the slippers. My wish is for everyone I invited to come here right away. <gasps> the six-legged beast! It worked! Glad to see me. After all, I have an invitation. Oh, oh, oh that tickles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Happy Snowman Day! School Secret Magical buildings come in all shapes and sizes. And each and every one has its own unique secret. It might be a portal in a wardrobe or perhaps in the chimney. It could even be a magical hidden room. There are many possibilities. Allow me to show you in this image. Uh, Oscar says you at their see, school, they had a we've secret covered enchanted all of the bases. room too. Huh? Your homework will be to write a report on a magical building. Yes? Then that will be all for today, class. <laughs> Ahem! Have you forgotten? It's one of our most important rules. Tidy your first, then you shall be free. These textbooks should help us a lot with our report. 1001 Labyrinths. Secret rooms and those who live what there. What is your basement hiding? Why don't we study our own school? Surely we have secrets of our own. The boys' school had one, so why not? We had an entire secret room. Ugh, with a minotaur. You had a minotaur? We did. He's our principal, and that room was where he graded our homework. Remember the attic with the ghost rock band? <laughs> Ghost, oh, ghosty, fly away, oh, yeah. See? I bet we have tons of stuff like that here. 
Who wants to do the report on our school then? Say us! They're called secrets for a reason. You could spend the whole time searching only to find nothing. We're still going to try. How should we begin? Where do schools usually hide the secrets? Well, the Minotaur's room was connected to the library. What about the cafe? Then we could make some tea. We should check in the hallway. There's a cold draft in there that always makes me shiver. Couldn't that come from a secret passageway? Why don't we split up then? We can cover more ground. The Minotaur's room could be opened up by pulling on a particular book. But which is the correct one? Well, that depends. Ours is on the very top shelf. Ah, uh, this one. Uh, uh, everything's okay. Uh, everything's fine. Uh. Oh, well. I guess there is no portal here after all. In fairy tales, magical creatures get into houses through the fireplace. Maybe there's a portal here in our chimney. And there could also be a dangerous creature hiding in there. Ah! Don't be afraid. I will protect us. I'm not afraid. I just didn't expect it. Hey, who else is there? Come out. <coughs> <coughs> no portal there. It's all clean. <laughs> uh-huh. It couldn't be cleaner. Looks like no secret passages here. Let's go look in the classroom. <laughs> What's going on? How do we get out of here? I'll handle this. I don't understand. This invisible wall wasn't here before. Then let's try to remove the spell. May this barrier disappear so we can all get out of here. It's still there. Let me try. Snares, tricks, and booby traps make them all collapse. Doria, watch out for the invisible wall! I wonder what that was. Oh dear, who took all the paintings off the wall? Well, we were, uh, looking for a secret passage. Rooney, Doria can't see us. But she can see the painting, can't she? Oh, it's a flying painting! Shoo! Oh, show her. Doria, it's us, Rooney and Dorma. We're trapped in the hallway and can't get out. Please help. It's a mess in here, too. What has everyone been doing? Oh, come on. We were just about to start cleaning everything up. Rooney and Dorma are both invisible, but why? Osco, she can't see us either. There just has to be a book in here somewhere that can help me figure this out. <gasps> Who's there? Helen? Vosco? I need the history of Wondermont School. There must be something in it that will help me undo the spell. Let's look for it together. There it is! Magical characteristics. Aha! Uh -huh. The school does everything it can to aid in lessons. That's all? How is that supposed to help? Helen! Vosco! You can see us! Yay! And we're no longer trapped in the library! Remember the school's rule the professor was talking about? Tidy up first, then you shall be free! Now do you see? We found out that if someone makes a mess, the school doesn't let them leave the room. It makes them invisible, so they can't be distracted from cleaning. And that is the secret of your, I mean, our school. I don't understand. Why hasn't this happened to us before? There was never a problem keeping things tidy before. But in pursuit of secrets, you crossed the line somewhat. As for the report, everyone gets an A. Well done. That is all for today. Don't forget to take your books along with you. Hmm. What bright students they are. So quick to catch on, too. Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? 
Ah, indeed, these are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place, no doubt about it. Ah, uh, hmm, we've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal, but the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card, but I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at the spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine. What if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm. Does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh. My brothers never gave flowers. I know. Knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. Oh, goodness! Look over there! It's a knight! How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up the knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry! It's too late. Our poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh! Do you hear that clanking? That's him! Uh, why's the witch's hut here? Oh, no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes! It was him all along! He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight! Hmm? He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? award you the order of, um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um, 
You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leet soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us. Eclairs and donuts. And little tarts, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> Squirreled away. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Time's up. Ready or not, here I come, girls. All right, then. If you did, uh. you never would have found me. It's only because I sneezed. <gasps> Tag! Got you, Lisa. <laughs> have you tried over there yet, Rooney? Tag! Got you, Doria. <laughs> Did you think I'd take your pine cone? <laughs> I don't eat them. I'd rather have candy, like this. It's all right. There's nothing to be scared of. Seek. Ooh. Cut it out, Rooney. I'm safe. I win, girls. Dorma, you really are something. We were so worried. We almost called the immortal. Where did you go? <laughs> I cannot share my secret, all right? But you really vanished. Very well, then. I'll show you. Come on. Here we are. This is where you hid? It's pretty open. What is this? <gasps> Dorma! Dorma? <laughs> Not quite, dearie. Daria, activate! I've got it. All right, stop. Oh! Oh! What's wrong with me? I've turned to stone and I'm frozen now. Nice one, Daria. Nice, Daria. Not quite. <gasps> Fold you. <laughs> Your spells won't work this time. I've got you now. <laughs> There's no escaping from Baba Yaga. <gasps> if only I had a protective amulet. So what? A house on chicken legs. Now what do I do? Wasn't there a spell about untying knots? How did that go? Wizard untie? Unwind? Uh, yes, that's it! Twirls and binds, now unwind! <laughs> Please, Hut! <laughs> Let me go! It's not that important for you, is it?
Now you're all going to live with me. I've decided to make a school. There are so many things I can... Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Cut that out. If you behave like good little princesses, I'll let you out of the balloon. On holidays. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Smells like a human. Now, let's see. Look who it is. <laughs> you escaped. What a useless hut. I can't trust her to do anything. Be gone, old crone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> That's not a spell. No spell <sighs> ends with leave me alone. How ridiculous. All those childish rhymes are useless. Oh! Hey, you! Stop! <laughs> I'll get you! <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come back, you thief! Oh. Mm. <laughs> Broom, come here! Oh, Broomy, where are you? Thank you. You helped us out of a tricky situation. Uh, twirls and binds, now unwind. <laughs> But it wasn't me. This little one is who you should thank. <gasps> a swirl! Oh, wow. That's so cute! <laughs> hey! Where are you going? What about me? Please, get me down from here. I won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Reflections Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right! Stop ordering us around! You're bossy! Well, clearly, without me, you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late, and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine, then. Maybe I would be better off, too. <gasps> with other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve, and yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> and soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you. <gasps> Enough. I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls, I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. <gasps> Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh no, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Doria and I found outside. Oh, wow. You should wear it. Thank you. Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. Girls! What's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. 
<laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. <sighs> well then, let's replace Helen. Hooray! It's hide and seek! My favorite! Where's to find Helen wins! <sighs> to get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. There! <sighs> oh, Helen! You who? Where are you? We just want to play! No, you're in there. <gasps> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? <sighs> Thank you for getting me out of there. It wasn't comfortable in there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away! Not yet! Toma, hold up the mirror! But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this. We wanted a different Daria. And it was our fault. What do we do now? Hey, you, Mira! Give Doria back! We only want our Doria! Give her back! Doria! Doria! You're back. back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only want you. <laughs> A whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsea Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No, not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Ruini, don't be sad. That just means a whole nother week of playing ball. Let's go. The weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not, uh, the best students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's Sunsea Day. I wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! We'll catch you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. Stop. Catch it really it. worked. He wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Come on, grab it. It's getting away. Wow. Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it. It's getting away. You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney. Invisible lock shut tight. Wow. How did you do that? It's not that hard. 
I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once. Uh, professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still. Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop. Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still. <gasps> oh, wow. Now it's your turn. Ready, go. Stop still. Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still. Oh, I froze the wrong thing. Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! <laughs> Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! Oh, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, your tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you, too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Comes my heroic move in action! Ah! Here comes the unstoppable snowman! <laughs> Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney! It was great! I'm getting a package soon, too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the goal. But I won't get it for another week. And I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> Come on. The Star Globe. That constellation is a giant. Wow, you're right. And that one's the gnome? You got it. Just like it says in the great astronometer's book. Then the next one is... The Big Dragon. Amazing! Dario, you have all the stars memorized. Oh, but I know which one is next. See that one over there? That's the small dragon. It's like the big dragon, only it's smaller. Girls, I have your test results. The professor has finished grading your papers. One of you got a perfect score. <sighs> Whoa. Yay! An A+. Plus. Oh, I can't believe I missed two constellations. I'll never become an astronomer like this. <gasps> I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish tonight make me an astronomer. <gasps> Look, girls, it's the great astronomer's map. <gasps> Whoa! Girls, 
It's not a normal map. It leads us to different tasks. Whoever completes them all gets the star globe. With that, you can become an astronomer. Really? This is a wish come true. But there's no way I can complete these tasks alone. Girls, can you please help me? I love adventures before bedtime. So, task number one. Find a star shooting up. Huh, easy peasy. Really? You know, shooting stars usually fall down. Even the magical ones. <laughs> then what if we just grab it and throw it back in the sky? Seriously? How would we do that? Wait, girls. I know. They say a star reflected in the magic well flies up into the sky and becomes a real star. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? That's just a myth. There's no way that this is going to work. <gasps> it worked! It didn't reach the sky. We have to catch it. Quickly! Star, wait! We won't hurt you! Yay! It flew up! It seems like it led us here. What's the next task? Let's see. It appeared just now. Light up the missing constellation. Over here, on the wall, there are drawings of constellations on the stone. But it looks like one is missing. Well, the lighthouse is in the right place, and so is the gnome. Ah, oh, the mouse in the hole! It should be here! Hooray! Now what? You forgot the nose. The constellation's called the mouse in the hole because there's a little star right here in the middle. Oh, it's nose. Your shiny excellence. Would you be so kind as to fly right up here? Third task. Go boldly into the cave. Even in such darkness, the stars will light your way forward. Head towards the giant in the sky. Okay, that's clear. Let's go. What's going on? It isn't supposed to get dark. Come on. We need to head towards the constellation of the giant. I think it was the moth, which would be right over there. Oh, way to go, Dorma. After that is the flying carpet and the lighthouse. Whoa! It's so bright in here now. Keep going, Dorma. Let's see, um... There's the wizard's hat, the big dragon, the little dragon, and the giant. Let's go. Are you sure? Oh, flying carpet, lighthouse, wizard's hat, big dragon, little dragon, giant. I'm sure. Quick! Now that's what I call a real adventure. But who's supposed to give us the globe? That would be me. Uh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You are... I'm the Great <sighs> Astronometer. A giant? So you're the reason the ground was shaking? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare you. Dorma, I'm here to fulfill your wish. This is for you. You can keep watch over the night sky, lighting up new stars on the globe, cleaning old ones, restoring their bright shine, and distinguishing those that fade away. I'm sorry, but there must be some mistake. I looked for the globe because I needed help, not because I could help it. I'm afraid I'd be a bad astronomer. I didn't even ace my test. What if I make a mistake? <laughs> Even the very best of astronometers make mistakes sometimes. That's why I created the Star Globe. If you use it to check your work, then soon you won't be afraid of mistakes, and your wish will be granted. You will be a wonderful astronometer. Dorma, you're already so good at astronometry. You were the one who thought to go to the well. You remembered the mouse's nose. And in the dark cave, you named all the constellations. Girls, then thank you very much, Mr. Great Astronometer. I'll keep a close eye on the stars, that I promise. The Great Astronometer? Yes, I know him. He was my classmate. He's now an outstanding specialist. He always had his head in the clouds. Used to say it was easier to look after the stars that way. Oh, Mr. Immortal, the well's reflection became a star. So I need to add it here, a new star on the star globe. But what should we name it? The answer to that is easy. The real star tonight was you, Dorma. So naturally, the new star should be called... Princess Dorma! Good Deeds 
Thanks for helping me water the sleeping herb garden. Happy to provide a little rain. Toma, you're a great gardener. Your herbs are actually glowing. Do all sleeping herbs have golden berries like this? They aren't berries. They're golden comet fragments. I read about them in a book by the great astronometer. Since you each found one, if each of you does a good deed for someone before sunset, your fragments will fly up into the sky and become golden stars. Golden stars? Are you serious? We are going to do such a huge good deed today. Then our fragments will be the brightest stars in the entire night sky. And they'll be called... Oh, Super Remy. And the North Helen. We need the owl. She knows everything that goes on here. If someone needs a good deed, she'll be able to tell us. Help me! Oh! It's a disaster! It's horrible! All my unpredictable berry pies exploded! It turns out that unpredictable berries really don't like being baked! Oh! And I have so much to do today! Oh, what a disaster! Oh. Don't you worry! We'll help clean up! Rooney, this is our good deed! <sighs> Washing some dishes? I don't think it's enough of a good deed! Well, take a few more! No, that's not what I mean! To make our stars shine brighter than the others, we need to do something that isn't just helpful, but something grandiose. And this... We'll just finish this quickly. Okay, let's go. There must be some really important good deeds somewhere out there. Come on! Everything okay here? No one's gotten smaller. No one's stuck in a mirror, gingerbread acting weird. No. Is your tree solid? Magic all under control? The gauntlets have it run off? Uh-uh. <sighs> Rooney, look! <laughs> huh? Emergency squirrel meeting! Do you think something's happened? Definitely! Someone's bewitched the forest! And we're going to save it! Which will be an international good deed! Show yourself, you nasty sneaky... <gasps> Nut? All that commotion was just about giant nuts? Those could feed all the squirrels in Wondermont. They're going to have quite the feast. That is, if we help them roll the nuts up that hill. Usually, every day is an adventure here, but today, it's just washing up and nut rolling. Talk about bad luck. Uh, if we don't find a better good deed, people will need a telescope to see our stars. Even Baba Yaga isn't up to no good today. Or is she? Let's find out. I hope Baba Yaga is planting something beastly. The nastier and more unpleasant, the better. Bingo! Baba Yaga has put a spell on someone. Thank you, Grandma. Do you think it's Leshy? I hope so. I sense a great good deed awaits us. Let's rescue him. Follow me. Ugh. Look, that's it. The more stub in the bush, the brighter our stars. Just a bit more. Nearly there. Oh. oh. Hello there. Where is Leshy? What am I, his secretary? Only Leshy knows where Leshy is. So there is no one who needs saving? No one needs saving? Me! I need it! How do you expect me to cope with these horrible prickly plants? No spell can get rid of them. They grow wherever they like and it's ruined my whole garden. Oh, if only someone could get rid of them for a poor old lady. It would be a very good deed indeed. Will you help me? Uh-huh. Huh? What are you doing? Huh? I've been growing those weeds all year. <laughs> it's the roses you need to pull out. Roses. What? Yes. Just look at them. They're ruining my whole weed garden. <gasps> and speed it up a bit. Time's getting on. It's nearly sunset. Nearly sunset? We're out of time. Oh, not a single proper good deed all day. Rooney, look. <gasps> <laughs> Well, well. I see that today was a day for good deeds. In fact, quite a few good deeds. You must have been working hard. <laughs> we didn't do anything special, though. We did the dishes in the kitchen. And then moved nuts for squirrels. Yeah, and we weeded a garden, sort of. You think that's nothing special? Look, see? 
Your work in the kitchen allowed the owl to come assist me. Together, we found some valuable old instructions that the Magical Council long believed to be lost. And because all the squirrels were able to fortify themselves with the giant nuts, the Squirrel Express ran at full speed and delivered the instructions to all the wizards. And now, with these in hand, the Council can create new enchantments. We helped the Magical Council? That's pretty cool. And you helped me. Well, the heart. Its foot hurt, you see. It's so lazy. In short, I made an ointment from the weeds. The ones you pulled today. And these are for you. Because I've never liked them. Can't stand the color. There, you see? Even the smallest good deed can have a big impact on someone, somewhere. And they say that those thoughtful people who do good deeds have... <gasps> a heart of gold! gold.